In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the fan effect within X Lights. So here is the icon, and let's drag it onto a prop. So it, as the name depicts, it creates a rotating fan effect. Now, what you can do, you can have single colors like this, or you can select multiple colors. It also supports the color curves. And if we watch here, with the clock here, it will transition over time and change colors based on the color curve that we have selected. In this case, green to red. Just have a more complex one. But also, it supports the different gradients. So we can have the diagonal gradient there. Diagonal gradient in the opposite direction, a radial gradient, and in the opposite direction, and then back to clock. Okay, so for now we'll just select a, a single color, and let's go through some of the options. Now there's a lot of options in this effect. So the first is the position, and this is quite straightforward. The, the X and Y position allows us to move the effect across the prop or group of props if we're doing it on a you know all house effect or something like that and the y moves it up and down then we have two radius radius one and radius two radius one affects the center part of this effect so if we pull this out you see we move the center part out and starts to disappear as it pushes the radius out the radius 2 is the effectively the size of the effect, so we can move it out and in. Then we have the angle, is just the tilt angle. You can see the blades getting a little bit more skewed there with the angle effect. Then the revolutions is the speed, but it's the number of resolution of revolutions that will happen over this start and end point on the timeline. So if we want it quicker, we can do that, but also by reducing the size of this, we'll speed it up even more. So let's move on to the next tab, which is blades. So currently we set to three, four, five, we can increase the blades. Now, what I'll also do is start bringing some extra colors in here. Now we've got the width, which specifies the width of the blades. Let me remove those colors so we can see that better. Always go width. We can have really thin blades. The angle alters the curvature of the blades, so we can get some weird effects there as we move in. You can see the twist of the blades there. And then elements will actually create multiple parts of blades so if we've got you know for every blade you can see here we've got two elements forming those blades as well and this can get quite good when you start bringing multiple colors in and things like that you can get some quite nice effect and then the width is the overall width of the effect the next one is the options now duration I had this set to 100 for ease, but what this does, at the start of the animation, you'll see it actually starts off small and grows, and that is specified by this duration. And if we look on the timeline, we can see this little tail part of here, which is showing part of that animation size. If we move it back, you can see that duration changes. And then we've got the acceleration, which dictates the speed at, at, that, at which that acceleration pulls into play. So if we bring it in, you'll see it's really slow. But if we come down here, it comes in really quick and accelerates fast. Okay. So let's move it back. Reverse is what we would expect, which is it will reverse the effect backwards and forwards. So this can be really nice if you're trying to match the beat of a tune. 
blend edges now this is a strange one if you've just got one color because it uh, you know sometimes it just ends up a solid color but it really becomes a nice effect when we have multiple colors so let me slow down this speed so we can really see what is happening so at the moment I've got the blend option turned off and these real solid lines between all those colors whereas if I click blend edges you can see it smooths that transition between the different blades okay on a single color it's it's definitely needed if I turn these elements back to one you can see without the blend edges on a single color it's a very solid looking effect as opposed to the blend edges so that's the options covered within the fan effect within x lights see you next time